I have again used the little broom to clean out my environment and these other windows. So that means in order to use the school's data data frame, I'm going to have to go back up and rerun this line of code here again. Now I'm ready to try to create a two-dimensional scatter plot. The generic R plotting function knows that it should create a scatter plot if the two columns that I am plotting are both continuous. In this example of the data, the limited English proficiency column is numeric and continuous, and so is the economically disadvantaged column. So if I do the plot with those two columns, it knows automatically that it should create an XY scatter plot, plotting each of the data points as a dot. I can create a similar scatter plot using ggplot. However, it does not make assumptions about the nature of the data. Rather, it creates a scatter plot because I have chosen to use the point geometry or the point geom. As was the case with the box and whisker plot, since I am using x and y variables, I have to pass them both in as arguments into the aesthetic function. Running this gives me a scatter plot that has the same pattern in it as we saw in the generic plotting function of R. In order to impose a best fit trend line on top of this plot, in the classic R, I need to fit a linear model. I can do that using the LM function and then pass in the Y value with the tilde and the X value. In the case of these data, the X value is limited English proficiency, Y value is economically disadvantaged, when I set the linear model, I see the model showing up over here, but there is no uh, effect on the graph right away. However, if I repeat this and plot the XY scatter plot and then use the AB line function, it creates a best fit line through the data. There's a similar process in ggplot but it's more systematic. Here again, we see the base ggplot function where we are assigning the data that we want to use. And here is the point geometry, which will generate this, the dot plot or the scatter plot just as we had before. But in order to create the best fit trend line, we add an additional geometry which is a smooth curve. In this particular case, we are going to determine that the curve is formed by the method linear model. So ggplot is going to perform a linear model and, and create a smooth curve that is actually a straight line. And it's gonna do that using the same data that I use to create the dot plot. If I run this, I see that I have a scatter plot with a trend line that looks quite similar to the one that I created with the classic plotting system, although it does show some uh, uncertainty limits for the best fit line, which is kind of nice. 